today I'm going to show you how I milled up some cedar logs. So stick around. A few weeks back I acquired some cedar logs. These were small diseased trees that came from a residential property. The wood was bound for the shredder anyway, so I decided to save a few seven-foot sections. Now my plan was to make some small dimensional lumber. This is the perfect opportunity to try out my Alaska chainsaw mill. fortunate in so many ways. My health is pretty good. I've blown out my back in the past, so I probably shouldn't be doing stupid stuff like that. But otherwise, I've managed to avoid major injury, knock on wood. I just wonder how long I could rely on youthfulness and grit to keep bouncing back. Now, if you're not familiar, an Alaska mill is this doohickey that you that clamps onto your saw bar. It lets you make straight and flat cuts along the length of the log. You just slide the whole assembly along the rails. That's for the first cut. Now I'm doing things a little unconventionally. Normally you'd run a big beefy saw for milling. No, actually more like that. Unfortunately I'm not so blessed in the saw department, so I have to use my little farm duty saw. I figure I can get away with this because I'm just cutting small softwood. The other issue here is I don't think I could safely attach guardrails to a 7-inch log. There just isn't enough meat to grab onto. My solution was to make this block and board deal where the guide rail is uh, independent of the log. I set up a stack of blocks on either end. The board supports the mill assembly, which allows me to make a rip cut. There's a third stack of blocks off to the side so I could swing the board away from the log. This lets me mount and dismount the saw. It's a lot simpler than it sounds, actually. Midway through the cut, I realized I had to make some accessories. I needed some wedges to place on the curve to keep the log from pinching the bar. It was easy enough to make the wedges on the bandsaw using some scrap wood. I also had to make some feet to hold the log stable when cutting. I, again, this was super easy, just screwing some scrap wood together. I decided to make only one cut per log. Uh, you just lose too much uh, of the wood in the curve if you were to make multiple rips in a log that's only seven inches wide. One rip gave me two half logs, which I can continue milling using other tools. That'll be for a future video. All right, here's the big reveal. Uh, the cut is nice and flat, but there's a fair amount of chatter, mainly from the log bouncing around. Uh, maybe there would be less chatter if the rail were attached directly to the log. Uh, there's a bad punky streak from uh, bark inclusion. Otherwise, the grain is pretty nice, you know, particularly in the, in the hardwood. So overall, I'd say I'm pretty pleased how this came out. One log down, two to go. If you get into chainsaw milling, just be prepared to do a lot of fiddling. There's just a lot of 
bolt checking and chain sharpening between cuts to make sure everything is running smoothly and safely. I'm sure you'd get pretty proficient if you do this all the time, but even so I can't imagine making dozens of cuts in a day. And here's the second reveal. Uh, this one came out better. The There was a punky hollow end, but that didn't go too deep. The rest was pretty much solid wood. All right, on to the third log. Enjoy some uninterrupted chainsaw bliss. You saw me hammer in some of those wooden wedges. Those keep the, the weight of the log from pinching the bar. You can tell from the sound of the saw that uh, it's, it's actually going pretty well. It only bogs a few times where the log rocks and it pinches the bar. Other than that, that little 59cc engine is doing pretty well. All in all, it took about two and a half minutes to get through a seven foot log. Now it turned out this log had a long soft streak, kind of like the first one, but again there's you know plenty of usable wood here. I ended off the day using a four and a half inch wood carving disc on my angle grinder to strip off most of the bark. Now this thing is pretty aggressive. It can run away from you if you jam it into the wood at the wrong angle. You just have to be extra vigilant just as you would with a chainsaw. All that was left was to seal the ends and stack the wood. It would have been best to use anchor seal, but I didn't have any, so I just used old exterior latex paint. Here I am stacking and stickering the wood. You put these wooden slats called stickers between the slabs to promote air circulation. Altogether, it took two and a half days to process three logs. And we still don't have finished lumber, just some half rounds. So cost-wise, you'd definitely be better off just buying some cedar planks from Home Depot. But gaining experience using a chainsaw mill, I'd say that's a win. If you like this video, please hit like and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.